beautification is the evidence of gratitude, or at least is an example of evidence of gratitude. If I'm grateful for someone or something, I want to highlight that which I am grateful for. So if I am grateful for, say, my land that I own currently, do I not like mow the lawn, do some landscaping, do whatever upkeep and gardening necessary to highlight the beauty of the land that I am blessed with. My house, I'm grateful for my house. And if I am grateful for my house, I will demonstrate that by being a proper steward of it, highlighting the beauty of the house, right? painting over where there are blemishes, adding little accents here and there to bring out what's beautiful, what I find worthy of gratitude. On my own body, do I demonstrate gratitude for my body? Do I exercise proper hygiene? Do I, or do I let myself go? And I know all of us to some extent fall short on any of these areas, but where I think it's particularly potent is in modern churches, particularly modern Protestant churches. For fear of falling into idolatry, we have sterilized our places of worship. We fear that if we make them too beautiful that we will worship creation rather than the creator. But don't we also go outside and remark at how beautiful nature is? How beautiful the trees are? Don't we talk about how majestic God is and how nature is evidence of God's existence? When we look at the stars, we look at the depths of the ocean, how magnificent different creatures are, And God has gifted us, each of us with various gifts, some of which are artistic. And yet we, we don't allow some of those art forms to be dedicated to God and, and presented in the church as, as symbols reflecting God's majesty, pointing to God's beauty, because we're afraid. We're afraid that we're going to worship the image rather than God himself. And I think that's it's very unfortunate, because what the world sees when it enters a church a modern Protestant church oftentimes is something more akin to a government-run hospital than it is to a, a sacred sanctuary dedicated to uplifting God, exalting God. And while, yes, Jesus did come for the sick, and we are to serve the sick. Wouldn't a sick person rather get healed in a place that reflects God's beauty than in a place that looks like a hospital where some people remain to die? where people need to be quarantined from one another, where people need to be
addressed solely as patience and not as heirs to the kingdom of God. I find it deeply regrettable. We talk so much of God's beauty and his majesty. And we do little to show it in our decor. And the overall architecture and presentation in our churches. And while it's wise to be cautious with regard to art, lest it does become an avenue for idolatry, I think we're missing out on being reminded of God's beauty. I think godly artists are missing out on their ability to create works of art that point to God. People should be awestruck when they enter our churches. We as individuals should be just as we should be exuding the love of God in all that we do. God also deserves people to be drawn to Him by His majesty and His beauty. And I feel like we in modern Protestant churches fall short in that regard. I think it might, might be nice if we begin to carefully reintroduce the beauty that is found in Catholic churches, the beauty that is found in Orthodox churches, and so on. Because God deserves that. It's a It's not only a valid display of gratitude for all that God is, but it's a necessary reminder that that God is majestic and beautiful.